Chris, in recognition of your accomplished career as a player and your success in high pressure tournament situations, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the podium for your induction into the Elon Sports Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame athlete and coach Chris Dockrell has been an irreplaceable asset to Elon's men's and women's golf programs. As a player in the 1980s, Dockrell found great success and made many friends while on the team. You know, I, I had a great experience. Um, I was here two years. Um, first year uh, was um, a lot of uh, hard work and uh, out on the golf course, but a lot of fun at night, I hate to say. <laughs> It was, a, it was a really good experience. The second year I was here, uh, it was quite a bit different. We had a lot of younger guys, so uh, you know, I was really focused on the goals of, you know, my sport and uh, and get graduating and everything. And uh, but uh, it was great. Dockrell earned All America honors, helped Elon take second place in the conference, and won many individual titles. But it was his relationship with his coach that he valued the most. Probably my best memories are not so much the golf side of it, as I do have plenty of those, but uh, actually sitting in Bill's office at night when uh, he would do up the qualifying scores and just sitting talking to him and uh, just the uh, conversations that we would do at, you know, at night you know, after, the, after the scores come in. And it was a, uh, a ritual after we played. We'd sit down in, in his office and we'd wait while he's putting all the scores up and we'd do a lot of talking. And uh, that's, that, that was a great memory. In 1998, Coach Bill Morningstar gave Dockrell a new opportunity to help Elon. He became coach of the first women's golf team in school history, a position he still holds today. He also has the unique pleasure of being inducted alongside one of his former players, Beth Frace. Those times that when, when she played, it was to me it was such a great time because it was golf, like I say, at its purest. Where, you know, they were there for one reason, you know, because they loved the sport, not so much because, you know, someone was paying them or any other reasons, but that they just loved it and it, it was just so enjoyable. Uh, it, it's great. For Dockrell, just being nominated to the Hall of Fame was a surprise and a privilege. It means everything. Um, I mean, I, it, it shows what, that, uh, you know, what I did here back in the 80s you know, meant something. And me being part of the school for so many years afterwards, um, it's it just, uh, just, a, just a really nice you know, honor. And um, you know, I never, never thought I, I, I would get in. I was only here two years, and uh, so I didn't know if, it was, if I was even eligible to be, to be in, the, in the Hall of Fame. But uh, uh, it's just a great honor, and uh, it's a great school, and uh, just to be part of it is, uh, is an awesome thing for me.